it's time to fight. Naji Lopez in the weight with orange, black, and red trunks for Anthony Stewart. Six, one, and two record. Four of those wins by knockout. Lopez, the Puerto Rican, fights very long. One finish in the first, two in the second. 3-0 with three wins by knockout. Stewart said he wouldn't lay down, and he's not laying down. Not the most talented guy, not the most experienced guy, but he does have a big heart, and he's out here to try. Yeah, from the way he was talking, you expect a lot of character out of this guy. He's, I expect he came to fight, and from his body language, he looked confident there, like he's, like he's had, he feels that he has an ability to stay in there. A little, could be a little more relaxed, but nonetheless. Body shot. Followed up by that, that nice hook, Antonio. Yeah, with Nadia Lopez, you see the doc comes out aggressive with some beautiful boxing ability. And you can see why everyone is so high on him. He's sticking that jab out there. But again, we want to see what he looks like at six, seven, maybe eight. And that's what we're going to really determine and notice what, how high is the ceiling that Nadia Lopez. We may not see it again. Her shot. Nice. Trying to finish Stewart early. Stewart's lone professional loss was when he was a victim of a TKO. Lopez just teeing off. Yeah. And Stewart has to figure out how to transition from that defense to offense because otherwise, even if he's blocking, he's going to become a punching bag for Lopez. He's got to give Lopez something to think about that might be coming back or that does come back. And right now, he has not done that. Now he's on shaky legs right now. Very shaky legs right now. And Anthony Stewart, guys, is coming off back-to-back first-round finishes of his own. He just wants to not get finished here in round one. And had a lot of experience in, like, tough man contests and everything. You can see, talent-wise, he doesn't have a hard But again, he's a tough customer. Right, he just took those body shots. He is one tough customer. He said yesterday that he'd take a few of these body shots. He wasn't blind, was he? He wasn't at all, because he's taking some good ones. I mean, some really good ones. Lopez had his 2020 Olympic dream derailed by a swollen eye in the trials. Competed as an amateur for both the U.S. and Puerto Rican national teams. Lopez back on the jet now. He was getting very aggressive, but now has seen that Stewart may not go away quietly, so He's back on, his, on the fundamentals in the jab and keeping his balance and staying calm. With a lot of in the city. Of course, take this stuff. Already. 
just landed a counter jab as well. I love the rhythm on his jab right now. He's changing direction, changing speeds. Okay. And then the right hand finally. Just the fact that he's able to been, been able to hang around has already forced Lopez to, you know, back off the all-out pressure, all-out aggressive combinations and and go back to setting stuff up. Now he's getting aggressive again. When he gets close to those body shots get in there. Yeah, devastating too. And he's ripping those body shots. That's the difference. And if Stewart doesn't give him something to worry about that's coming back, it's just gonna continue, it's not gonna stop the aggression of Lopez. Lopez needs to have something to worry about if he's gonna step off the gas pedal a little bit. And yeah. you can see and you can see guys in there, Paulie, there, there's not a lot at all coming back from Anthony Stewart, and it's because of the damage that Najee's done. Yeah, it's a great point, Mike. And also, you know, the, the fact is that you can't throw your shots and also keep them home and protect yourself. And he, he doesn't feel comfortable not being able to protect himself. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. You can hear those. Looking to finish 40-year-old Anthony Stewart once again. And he's throwing those shots perfect. He's not loading up. He's allowing his motion, his speed, to create the power. Do a game as they come to son. He took those shots and came right back with his own up there. Tough man contest. <laughs> that, man, you can see it. He won a tough man contest for a reason. <laughs> he is tough. But my guess is, not only did he compete in him, he probably won a handful. He said he dominated most of them. Yeah? Yeah, over 70 tough man fights. Wow. He said most of them will come in drunk already. So <laughs> yeah. Not too many similar to Najee Lopez. Then. Is this when I put up my surprise face, Antonio? Smiling after I'm going to get a deep breath. Smiling. in control of this fight thus far. White trunks, orange top, and the black and red for 40-year-old Anthony Stewart. And that says a lot for 40-year-old Anthony Stewart. He's 40 years old. The last time, Nigel Paul was a 35 veteran, and he couldn't last as long as Nigel. You gotta like what you, you gotta like the fight to, to be 40 years old like Stewart and be in these kind of fights. He's not looking for a way out. He's looking for a way to punch back. He sure is. And that Alex Theron that you were talking about, boy, he, he was 23 and 6. Yeah. So he had a lot of experience and a lot of success. Yeah, but Baron found the exit the first chance he got. <laughs> if Stewart wanted to find the exit, he could have found it already in this fight. But he's, he's willing, willing to stick around. That's what I'm saying. Lopez go around. That's what I'm saying. My hat goes off to him for being as tough as he said he was. He told us he was tough. He told us he wasn't going to lay down. He just landed a good left hook right there. I mean, that says something. He's 40 years old and still out here trying to fight like this. Make his all hard. Give it Najee work, you know? Young man, too. Najee, yeah. again, young man. Najee, a young veteran. <laughs> a young, a young veteran. Yeah. Look how he's looking for those shots. Look how he's hunting in there. Look at that. Use those elbows right. Keep his head off of him. Yeah. Yes. Keep his head off of him. Some beautiful things in there. Doing a lot of good thinking in there. Of course. Antonio, this is great for Najee, though. Is all you guys pointed out. A guy that won't go away. This is great for his learning curve. I mean, we call these lessons. Lessons that can only happen within those ropes. Right. The experience. Oh. Exactly right. Yeah, the Mike Tyson there too. Right hand and then up, right hand uppercut. Oh, good left uppercut. Well, well, one thing, uh, Stewart hasn't seen anybody box like this in the Batman contest. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, if this is a lesson, this is a school of hard knocks right now. Yeah. 
Round three scheduled for six. The first six round fight, at least on paper for Najee Lopez, was his win last month right here at the Pro Box Event Center. Finished that fight at 33 seconds of round two. Oh, smooth shot there. Man, he just turned so nicely on that body shot. I like the way Najee Lopez changed his speed mid combination too. Kind of is flowing and then all of a sudden steps on the gas pedal. Paulie, sorry, Roy. That is such a key in Antonio to, to change your tempo because if you don't, it doesn't matter how great it is, it becomes predictable. I mean, you're absolutely right. But what I'm seeing now, Najee, like he's really fighting out of his talents right now. And he's looked good doing it. Yeah, I saw I saw him standing two feet from the guy, but he broke two or three times, changed his position. He's growing right in front of our eyes tonight. Roy, you like to have tape, you like to have a fight that you can truly go break down and critique, don't you? Yes, you do. You need that. You look at it and see how to make yourself better. If you don't have that, you don't want to make yourself better. Tough and fighters meeting 
but he proved it tonight. I mean, this guy took some blows tonight, but credit to Najee. He looked beautiful tonight, man. He really stepped this game up tonight with his composure and control. And that's what we want to see. We want to be able to see him go enough rounds to where we see what he's got. How, how, how deep do these bag of tricks go? You know, how, how far exactly. does he go? And you know what? There's a big bag of tricks there. Big bag. Roy Antonio talked about it a bit. We saw the growth right in front of our eyes again of Najee Lopez. He stayed with his game. He stayed composed, even though he was hurting him frequently. He stayed very composed and very smart. He kept the body work going on. The body work was kind of going to help get him down. He backed off a little bit, then speed up again. And that's what hurt him and sent him down for the first night down. Very educational win for Najee Lopez. Referee stops the fight to make it official. Michael Woods. We have a decision rendered in violent fashion. Winner, 239 elapsed in round number four by TKO. Hands together now for Najee Lopez. The proud Puerto Rican. 4-0, four, no, four knockouts. One in the first, two in the second, and tonight he finishes Anthony Stewart in round number four. Lopez going to the body, follow that hook from stairs, speed that hook up, change the speed that hurt him very, very bad, kept the pressure on, and that caused a knockdown. Another left hook. After that, you see him come back again. As game as this guy was, he was still trying to punch while he was getting hit like that. And now he's just kept pouring it on. Ruffin finally saw enough and called it a day. Great stoppage, just too much. Too much talent. Too much skill, too much of everything from Nagy Lopez tonight. 